Saka Fetz YouTube and let's cook with me from start to finish. Over here I have about 750 grams of shrimp and I already deveined it but I left the tail bit on because I really like that for presentation you don't have to do it but it's just something that I like to do okay so let me just run you through our seasonings as we use them so you're going to need your oil of course okay I'm just gonna season it as I show you the seasonings I just put a drop of oil on here and you're going to need your sea salt, of course. So just put a generous amount of sea salt. I have my black pepper. Beautiful. I also have my mixed herbs. And this mixed herbs has a mixture of thyme, basil, marjoram, and oregano. I have my allspice. And in here, I actually have a mixture of garlic, um, pimento, and ginger. So I just made my own little blend in an empty jar. And last but not least, some cumin. Okay, put that cumin in here. I also have some paprika. Okay, gorgeous. Now you don't have to use hot paprika, but I'm just using that one to give the shrimp a nice little kick. Over here, I have a fresh blend of green seasoning and it's looking so beautiful because I added some red onion and I added some bell peppers and stuff to it. But I do have a recipe for green seasoning already. You can always just check it out. The link is down below. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of my green seasoning into this shrimp. Look at that, see, not too much. I'm also just gonna mix it up, mix it up. Like, yes, just cut everything in that beautiful green seasoning. All those seasonings together is going to be so gorgeous. Let's just mix that. This smells so good. It smells absolutely wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is seasoned to perfection. All those seasonings. This is just beautiful. So I'm going to set it to one side to marinate for a bit and we are gonna get started with our other stuff. But now I will also just show you, I have some mini peppers and some spring onions. I have some carrots and some thyme as well. Um, I need to get the scotch bonnet from the fridge. But yes, my loves, everything is looking beautiful. So my rule is whatever will take longest to cook, you always cook it first. So we're going to be making our rice now, okay? Because that is the only thing that takes really long to cook in this Let's Cook With Me. So let's go ahead and cook our rice. So here I have my rice and I'm just going in with a little bit of Kerrygold butter. Now this is about two and a half cups of rice and I'm cooking it in three cups of water. I just went in with about a tablespoon of this Kerrygold butter, my absolute favorite. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt in there. Nothing too much. I put about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. And I am also going to add some of that green seasoning in the rice because it is just going to give it some nice little specks of color. And I like that so much whenever I'm making my rice. Absolutely love that. I'm also going to add just a little all purpose seasoning in here. And this one you can get it from Tesco. Okay, that's enough. Just mix it very well. I'm now just throwing in some spring onions in here and I'm just gonna put some thyme in there as well. Okay, gotta leave some thyme behind for our reggae shrimp. Added my scotch bonnet pepper in here and then you just want to allow that to come up to a boil, okay? Just allow that to come up to a boil. I'm really tempted to put some coconut milk in there, 
I'm not sure if I should, but I love coconut milk so much and I just want to put it in everything. But I don't think I will put some today. Okay guys, as you can see, it has come up to a boil and it's looking good. It is looking good. This is just going to be just some flavored rice. You know, nothing too much. Put a bit of flavor in there. So I tend to just let my rice boil and then reduce the heat. So I just brought the heat down and I'm just going to put the lid on and allow that to steam for about 10-15 minutes and my rice will be ready. So onto my plantains. I've got my pot and I'm just going in with some oil, enough to cook the bottom of the pot. And these are my plantains. Okay, so you just want to slice it up like so on the side open it up see beautiful on the inside see that gorgeous and just slice it Hi, my baby. Bye, baby. bye baby So after about a minute and a half, two minutes, we're just flipping our plantains over. Guys, and I feel like I haven't cooked plantains in so long because for some reason I was just not able to get some at the local shop where I usually buy it. And I went there yesterday and I think I must have nearly emptied the box. <laughs> I took so many of them. Look at how gorgeous this is looking so golden my absolute favorite yes my loves that looks so good so so pretty yes so guys you don't want it to get too brown but as soon as it's cooked, I'm just removing it and placing it on a paper towel. Okay, so pretty. And because I still have more to cook, I'm just going to be putting them in as I take these ones out. Okay. That's the last one going in. Okay. So these ones are done. These are the first ones that I put in. Just taking them out because you don't want them to burn at all. Plantain is something you could be frying it and everything will be all good and the minute you step away from the fire Like literally in one minute everything will be like black So I never step away whenever I'm making my plantains ever not even to blink Because if you blink they're burnt all done Look at that my loves There you have it. Look at how beautiful. Look at how gorgeous. Look at that. Guys, that looks so good. Look at how amazing. So beautiful. So gorgeous. 
So now we're going to be making some Kalaloo. I don't have any of the fresh Kalaloo because I am in England and sometimes it can be so hard to find. So I'm using this one, okay? And I'm going to start by adding some of that Kerrygold butter into my pot, okay? Let it melt. I love Kerrygold butter. I'm going to put a generous amount of the green seasoning that we blended up in here. Gorgeous. So this is how it looks when it's drained and I'm just going to add the whole can in here. We're only going to be sauteing this for a few minutes, okay? Don't put a little bit of flavoring. I'm going to be putting some of that vegetable seasoning in there. See this guy is all done. This is ready. Okay, so like I said, it's, it was already cooked. I just wanted to add some flavor to it. Okay, so you can go ahead and turn it off now. Yes, my loves. Okay, guys, it's time for our shrimp. So I'm just going to add some oil to a pan. Okay, and just allow it to heat up. And now it's time to add in our shrimp. Beautiful. already looking so good. And then I'm just gonna go in with my peppers and everything else and just make that up. Softened up by now, so that is just looking so beautiful, so gorgeous. Yes, my love. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that, my darling. Oh my goodness. That just looks so beautiful, so full of flavor, and it's only been going for about four or five minutes. And I know everything is nicely cooked in this. It smells amazing. The cumin in there is absolutely beautiful. Look at that, my love. Yes, yes, yes. See, and this is ready in about five, six minutes. It is done. It is done. Okay, look at that. Look, oh my goodness. That looks so good. Wow, 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 wow. That looks so amazing for this food. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, these are reggae shrimp. Look so beautiful. And all those colors just remind me of reggae. That nice green, that nice orange, yellow, red. So beautiful. So this is all ready. We don't want to overcook our shrimp. That's very important. So now I'm just going to turn that off because, my love, this is ready. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. So gorgeous. Guys, can you see it? So guys, our rice is ready and this is how it's looking. See? Got our Scott bonnet, put some flavor in there and look at the beautiful specks of the cream seasoning. Just so pretty. Guys, look at that. And our rice is nice and grainy, just as I like it. If you want to see how I make the perfect rice more in depth, you can always just check out down below. There's a link on how to make the perfect rice. Although I think this one is still pretty straightforward. So yes, my loves, this is it. This is it. All done. Everything is all so done. This is Sunday dinner sorted. We have our plantains. We have our kalaloo, of course. We have our reggae shrimp and we have our rice. And this took me no more than 30 minutes, guys. This was just so easy to make such a beautiful sunday dinner i will also be i'm um, having this with some avocado as well i'm tempted to make a quick guinea sponge to wash it all down but yes my loves this is it all done so i hope you enjoy the recipes if you try it at all don't forget to tag me on instagram at terryann's kitchen purchase my new ebook by visiting www.terryannskitchen.com it's a pleasure having you here and i will see you again in my next one Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.